Okay, Good luck. Thanks very much. Now, here is food for thought. Andy Sullivan, who turned pro two years ago, wants to improve his dietary regime. And having once worked in a supermarket to finance a successful amateur career, he knows all about making sacrifices. My last year as an amateur, and I was working at Asda and going to work at three in the morning and finishing at 10 o'clock and then just going to practice all day just made me just really feel like I just don't want to ever come back here ever again. No disrespect to Asda or anything, but it was just... I just wanted to play golf and I just didn't want to didn't want to be there working there for the rest of my life. Despite achieving Walker Cup status and working in a supermarket, Sullivan knew he was well short of the fitness and nutritious diet can provide. You're fresh in the body, you're fresh in the mind, and I think it's just a, a really, really big area that I've, I've missed out on really for, for a couple of years. But not for much longer if his commitment in the gym is anything to go by. We're looking at the 1% now. These are the small things that are going to take uh, them to that potential next level. And then somebody like Andy, who's unbelievably keen, really willing to listen to advice and seems enthusiastic about embracing it, it's great to work with people of that calibre. And they're the, the athletes that you enjoy working with, the ones where 99% um, of what they're doing is brilliant, but you can maybe make that little tweak and hopefully help them to get the rewards that they deserve. Sullivan returned to Q School last year after struggling in his rookie season and having regained his card, he's made two top ten finishes in South Africa, one at the Qatar Masters and after 12 outings sits proudly inside the top 50 in the race to Dubai. To play in the fields that were there and, and to perform the way I did is fantastic. It almost you know, it makes you feel like you, you are uh, good enough to be out here because the main thing for me was just to enjoy it more and that's what I found myself doing this season and compared to the season before. Yes, encouraging results certainly on 2012 when he was constantly disappointed with his performances. I was just struggling towards the end of my rounds. I was losing concentration. I felt, felt tired quite a lot of the time uh, and ultimately it cost me, cost me a number of shots towards the end of the season. Sullivan, who was born in Nuneaton in England, will be 26 later this month. Naming Lee Westwood as his chief inspiration, he's now an accomplished golfer in his own right who sees no obstacle to becoming an even better player in the years ahead. And if this means spending many more challenging hours in the gym, then so be it. I've had to make sacrifices in my lifestyle to change that. I was, I was very sociable, to say, and... Uh, Used to like going out with my mates and, and having a drink and a few things, but um, now obviously that's uh, I'm gonna have to cut that down now. And because obviously the be all and end all of it is um, I want to want to see how good I can be at golf. That's Andy Sullivan confidently stepping up to the plate. <laughs>